Factor theorem. This is a further maths GCSE question, which is a level two qualification. This is on a, a calculator based paper. You don't really need to calculate for this question, um, but it's there if you want it. Um, and we are given a function um, f of x where x uh, where it's equal to x cubed plus ax squared plus bx plus 24. And we've got to try and find the values of a and b, but we're told that two factors of f of x are x minus 2 and x plus 3. So that means if we make x equal to 2, because that solves that, when x is 2 we get a 0 there, then um, when we put that into the function, the factor theorem tells us because it's a factor, then um, let's just finish writing this out, um, that is equal to 0. All factors make the function equal to 0. So we've got 2 cubed, which is 8 plus um, two squared lots of a, which is 4a, plus two lots of b, plus 24 equals zero. Okay, so that tells us that um, eight plus 24 is 32. So 4a plus 2b plus 32 equals zero. So that's one equation we can get from a factor where x equals two. The other factor is where x equals minus three. That makes this bracket zero. So f of minus 3 is also equal to 0. So we get minus 3 cubed plus minus 3 squared times a um, plus minus 3 lots of b plus 24. And that's also equal to 0. We're not space there. So minus 3 cubed is minus 27. You could use a calculator for this if you need to. Um, just to make sure, minus 3 squared is just 9, and that's a, and minus 3 lots of b plus 24 equals 0. So minus 27 plus 24 is minus 3, so we've got 9a minus 3b minus 3 equals 0. So we've got two equations, two unknowns, so we need to solve them simultaneously um, in whatever the formula is. It's probably easier to do this by elimination. So if we try to figure out a number that both um, either A or B can go into, well B, this one's easier with a 3 and a 2, we we'll just make that out 6. So if I multiply this whole equation by um, 3 and I multiply this equation by 2, not square, but times by 2, so times in this by 3 I get 12A, times in this by 3 I get 6B, times in this by 3 I get 90 6 equals 0. Multiply this through by 2, I get 18a times by 2, 6b times by 2 is 6 equals 0. And then I can just put maybe put this one underneath that one. And then I can just add the two equations to get 18 plus 12 is 30a. Those two disappear. And then we end up with plus 90 equals 0. So a um, 30a equals minus 90. So that tells me that a equals minus 3. So that's the first answer. Once we have that, we can put that into any of these equations we've got so far um, to find out um, what b is going to be. I'm just going to use the one that's here because it's above where it's going to go. So a is minus 3, so we've got 18 times minus 3. Okay, not the easiest one to put it into, but it will do. Um, 3 18s, 30, 24, 54. So that's minus 54 minus 6b minus 6 equals 0. So that's going to be minus 60 minus 6b equals 0. And then we're going to add the 60 to the other side to give us minus 6b equals 60, divide by the minus 6 to get b equals minus 10 as our b value. Okay, five marks for that. So there's um, there's one mark for getting this expression, um, one mark for getting this one, um, one mark for getting some simplified versions. Um, you could take the numbers of the other side, you don't really need to. Uh, one mark for, or for making them um, have a, have a common number in that you can add or subtract from and one mark for getting to the answer. Okay, so there we go. Factor theorem.